I will guarantee you one thing about me is that we all talk about time. We don't have enough of it. That's bullshit. What you don't do right is you don't prioritize what is important in your life. And for me, me training and the things that I do on a daily basis, that's how I start to build my armor. I started finding self-esteem once I found that. That's when doors started opening up. I, started, I stopped caring about people, that what they thought, being judged. Wow, if I say this, if I started right now, are you gonna make fun of me? I stopped caring about that. And that's when my life started really changing for me, slowly but surely. I saw working out as a way for me to build calluses on my mind. I had to callous over the victim's mentality. I always equated training to mental toughening. It always looked brutal. People waking up early and doing all these things. And it, looked, it looked horrible. I was like, wow, man, I got to start doing that. Not to get better, bigger, and stronger, but that is what's going to build me. That looks uncomfortable. So I know how it is to be alone. You have to be able to flip alone on top of his head. I gained a lot of strength from having a sewer mentality. And what a sewer mentality is, is how many people can make it out of the sewer alone with no coach, no trainer, no one to guide you, no one to mentor you, just having a, a, a straight up killer mentality, having a warrior mindset, having a no matter, having a round 14, I'm gonna get up mindset. And you have to learn to flip that loneliness into like total like power. And that's what I was able to do. I was able to like, you know what? If I can come out of this sewer that I'm living in in my mind, if I can overcome all these things by myself, how much strength will I gain from this? That looks brutal. And getting up early, I don't want to do that. So I made this long list of things I don't want to do. And through that, I found myself. And you gain a ton of strength from it. So that's how I looked at my life growing up. I stopped looking at all the bad things that life handed me. And I started looking more as a, the ultimate training ground for where I want to go. My, my mental armor starts to get built up by doing these things that are uncomfortable for me. So I still hate running. You guys are getting up at five o'clock in the morning, running over here in this golf course. So I started seeing myself very differently than the average human being. I was like, hold on a second. I have something they don't have. I've never had a lot of people in my life and I keep my circle real small. Um, it's been my mom and you know, it's my fiance right now. And the more people you have in your life, the noisier your life gets, the more distractions you get in your life, the more shit you start to hear. Growth comes from a very quiet place in your mind. And when you can organize it, you have to organize your mind. And when you have so much noise and distraction, there's no organization in that. So I believe in keeping my circle real small and those people know who, they know what they get from me. And I know what I get from them and it keeps me going forward, never stagnant. And that's when I started to develop these things through working out. It was this great never ending work ethic. And through work ethic, I developed self-esteem. I always equated working out to struggle. And I struggled my whole life, but I ran from it. So I started realizing, man, I gotta start facing the struggle and I gotta be mentally strong for the struggle. So that's why I started coming up with like, I, I'm training for life. Mentally, I'm training for life. I'm not training for like, I don't care about winning trophies. I don't care about winning anything. All I wanna do is go to distance. And I found out on my own pretty much is that through this, through, through discipline, through self-discipline, through repetition, through tons of repetition, the same thing that you don't wanna do. And that's the, that's the key thing. Through repetition of things you don't want to do, you develop mental, like uh, like an armor for your mind. You start to armor your mind, because your mind's like, okay, we suffer, we suffer every day. It's what we do. We do stuff that sucks every day, so then when the suck stuff comes, you're ready for it. And that's how it started coming up. You know, I just started being very uncomfortable, and now it's like a, just a way of life. And I am happy, because this is my lifestyle. This is what I want to do. But trying to find your best self you become unbalanced. And people always talk about this mythical creature called the balance. You want to be balanced. I, I think balance is a bunch of bullshit. Yes, I really do. You think for everybody? I really yeah, I, I think almost for everybody. Everything in my life, so I had to learn this ability that I talked about 
My physical gave me the self-discipline and that literally has carried me over to, I can sit down and study. What may take some people an hour to study, I can I have to sit down for maybe 10 hours to learn the same. And that's very frustrating. So I always talk about running and swimming and all the stuff I did in the military and pull-up records and powerlifting and all these mental, all these physical feats. Some of the hardest I do in my life is just learning. But I got that self-discipline from waking up at three and four o'clock in the morning to go out in the cold weather, to, to you know get my run in, to get my lift in, to get my swim in, to do those things, it totally transfers over to my learning. It's that self-discipline you gain from feeling good about yourself by overcoming yourself on the physical aspect of life. But I was like, cause I kind of was preparing myself for the next part of my journey. I don't like to lay in my too long. And I give myself a couple of minutes to say, okay, we got man to f up. We gotta get back, like, what's next? You know, let's go, let's go see, you know, let's, let's go back to college, let's, let's do something, because you're, you're running and your athletic career is done. And this was, this was like literally a, a trained skill for me, was I'm, I'm always preparing for like, not being a bit. Like a lot of people get to a point, like for instance, like, if Jennifer can't do something, like, if, you know, if, if, if she can't go for a run or whatever, just like, cause she, something's wrong, like some simple shit, it's gonna bother her. I got to a point in my life where I realized this is life. And so I move on past things real quick. So people are like, oh my God, what are you gonna do, David, if you can't run? I'm like, well, I'll swim. Or I'll go to college or I'll do something else. This, like, like this isn't my life. I'm very aware how quick life can take from you and I've always prepared my mind for the next chapter and what happened with me was I started this thing called front loading so when I was young I used to be a little piece of shit. oh I'm not good enough I can't do this I can't do that but the second I got my head out of my ass and I realized man you can achieve a lot of shit if you get off your ass and you start moving and you start motivating yourself Try becoming a self motivator. So I started front loading. And front loading is people, are like, man, you've done so much by 47 because I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring me. So my, my military resume is fat. You know, I did a lot in the military, I did a lot outside the military. I've, I've, I've made money. I've, I've, I've done almost every race out there, hard race in the world. I've broken pull up records. I've done a lot of shit. So when these bad times come, and also, not like, like not only that, like work your ass off so so you can enjoy. Yeah, yeah, you're taking a shot. You know, you you may not live to be old, but what if you do? And you worked your ass off when you were able, and you were able to get up early, able to grind. If you front load it properly, the back half of your life is money, and that's what I did.